Hey Aries, it's your girl, the Empress Chanel here, coming at you with a video. Um, today I'm going to do uh, horoscopes, June 2021 horoscopes, to see where you guys are with um, coming up with love, money, you know, slash career, um, and then just your general energies, health, that type of thing. Um, and then I'm going to get some advice from the angels and guides and some self-care advice um, for you guys going into June 2021. All right, so I'm going to start off with love, Aries. What do we have for Aries? Don't forget to look at my description box <clears throat> down below. I have the um, links to my websites, my Instagram, Facebook, all that other stuff. Please join our group on Facebook um, so I can start going live there more. Um, I didn't go live on Bigo last night, but I plan on going live soon again. At some point this weekend, I will. I just wanted to get these uh, horoscopes out for you guys. All right. Love, Aries. Aries in love. And I apologize, you guys. My air conditioner came on, but it's so hot where I'm at. <laughs> I know I got on a sweater, but it's cold on the inside because I got to keep the AC on. But if I turn the AC off, it'll be like <sighs> I'm choking up in here. <sighs> the struggles of living in an area where it's highly humid. Either you're suffocating or you're freezing. Like, <laughs> there's no in-between. All right, can we get one more for Aries with love? One more for Aries with love. I see that um, so far, Aries, you guys got three of Pentacles. That's Capricorn energy and six of Pentacles. That's Taurus energy. I'm not sure if you or your person may have um, Earth in their chart. And then we have Page of Swords here, which is uh, <clears throat> air energy. That's Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um... But I'm seeing here that you guys are wanting to learn someone, wanting to, um, well, you have been learning someone and getting to know someone um, or, you know, a situation that you love or something like that. Um, like I said, love does, I say um, in previous videos, love doesn't always have to mean like a counterpart or someone that you're messing with. Love could be the love for a family member, the love for a friend, you know, just any type of love. But I see that you guys are collaborating um, this June. Um, you're going to be coming together, maybe working on some projects. This could be a family member or a business partner that, you know, with some business that you love or something like that. But I'm seeing that... Um, you guys are definitely going to be coming together, collaborating. There's going to be a, a great level of equal give and take um, with this love. Um, you guys might move to a different level of love. You guys are probably building foundations in June. Um, so that way you could move up and higher in love. And like I said, just getting to know each other with this Page of Swords right here. I feel like the Page of Swords is being a student right here in this spread for you, Aries. So you guys may have someone that you're just getting to know and, and learning to grow and learning about them and, and all that. All right, as far as money and career goes, Aries, let's see. And you guys got Knight of Cups at the bottom of that love deck. So, you know, that could mean going out, going out on dates. The Knight of Cups is, is you know, he loves to date. He's got his little picnic lunch right there, his little roses and stuff. And then we have King of Cups right up under that. So you guys are, you know, just getting to know someone, maybe dating around, liking a, a couple people, you know. But you're just trying to find that equal give and take when it comes to love, which is which is beautiful. I mean, that's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> you're not supposed to be like, it's only one person for me forever, and I'm going to wait for that person to come to me. Put yourself out there if you want to date, you know. And if you are already with someone, I feel like you guys are, you know, working on rebuilding um you know, learning more about your relationship and learning more about what you guys like and how you can work together a little bit more. You guys might be collaborating, um, working to uh, plan something. I'm getting that, planning something, um, planning to go somewhere, maybe a destination um, in June or just planning to go to a destination. But okay, so let me see what you guys have for June with money. I, I kind of went on and on about love. <laughs> You know, that's the wave that I ride. I love, I'll, I'll talk about love all day long. <laughs> all right. So with money, you have the five of materials, which is the five of pentacles in this deck. The eight of materials. So I'm seeing so far that you guys in June are going to be um, continuing to working hard, perfecting your craft, um, coming in from the cold, as, as they say, with... Um, with the five of pentacles but i'm seeing basically like a change in your stability um as far as work goes um you guys have been working hard to push that along two came out i'm only going to accept one but um you got the hangman and the six of emotions so in the past you guys felt a little bit stuck 
um, in, in your work, in your career. Um, you may have changed careers or something like that. But either way, you guys are, are coming in from the cold. It's like a dry spell maybe you might be having with money. But either way, you're working hard. You're, um, you know, putting foot to pavement with this eight of materials here. Um, <clears throat> let me get one more for money and career. And I'm feeling like you're bringing yourself out of the cold as far as uh, pinnacles and money and abundance goes. It's like, you know, Eight of Materials is someone who is literally actively working hard in a traditional deck. They're hunched over the little pinnacle. They're sitting there working hard on it. They got the other ones to the side that they already finished. They got more that they're going to start. So this person is putting in a lot of work. You may have a lot of side jobs that you might be doing or, you know just little talents that you have that you know you can get paid off of and it's just like hey <laughs> why not you know so basically you guys are figuring yourselves out um as well with money um learning and growing with that um honing in on your craft doing things that you love coming up in june all right let's get one more and then we got the uh muse of voices so this is the king of swords right there when it comes to money so yeah i'm seeing that you guys are um this may be a military card a military person or whatever but um because the the king of swords and the knight of swords and the queen of swords are all can be considered to be like um officials like officers or military or something like that so that might be for a percentage of you but um and you may you know get a higher rank or more pay or something like that coming in out of the cold but um the king of voices i'm seeing here is like um He's, he's a very good planner, thinker, communicator. So you may be someone who um, has to communicate for your career. You may be some sort of speaker or, like I said, just someone who um, has to plan out a lot of things. I'm seeing here in your love life, you guys, like I said, are also planning that too. So um, your career, that probably spills over into your career where you're planning and doing and um, working and, you know, just getting all the receipts and everything together. So... Um, as far as career goes in June, you guys, I'm just seeing that you guys are just putting in the work, you know, being diligent, being the soldiers that you are. Look, we have the Knight of Swords. I was just talking about the Knight of Swords. Uh, he's a soldier, too, you know. So maybe somebody is moving up in rank. That could be one thing. Or like I said, getting a raise or something. Because Six of Pentacles also means getting a raise, like a raise in status. So you may be... Um, you know, your career is going well in June and then, you know, so you are able to spend a little bit more money, give a little bit more equal give and take as far as relationship goes and going out on dates and things like that. Um, so, you know, it all comes together, you know, at the end of the day. So in general, let's see what we have in general for you guys. We have the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know, some of you may be pregnant or getting pregnant because this is also like the health career too and then we have the four of wands which came out upside down <clears throat> i have to i have to i have to look at that <laughs> tell me more about this four of wands reverse okay. we got the king of wands the knight of wands and strength in reverse so it's like someone needs to maybe build up the courage to tell, tell someone about um, some sort of maybe health issue they may be having. This may be something about, um, because I'm seeing the Empress here and then I'm seeing the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles is um, like the Nine of the Nine of Pentacles, I call that pre-Empress energy. I also call Queen of Pentacles pre-Empress energy, but Queen of Pentacles is pre-Empress engaged. Nine of Pentacles is, is pre-Empress single. And the Empress could be a mother so this could be like an engaged son daughter and a mother dynamic right here but I'm seeing in June that it's like um yeah I am seeing this as family four of wands is my family card so it's kind of like you know you know foundations aren't aren't really there you know stability isn't really there maybe there is a uh, parent child duo that who really isn't like um you know collaborating or whatever like that because we saw it clarified by the king of wands maybe someone is bringing that that kind of energy that little aggressive type of energy and it's just not being reciprocated right now but i am seeing that um whoever this is um you aries i'm feeling like this is you even though this is the queen of pentacles and it's not like the emperor or empress or anything like that um and look three of cups here at the bottom of the deck so one of the two of uh, wants to reconcile in june 
or come together in June and the other does not it's just not happening okay the other which I'm feeling like is the Queen of Pentacles is more concerned with her Pentacles with her career um, you know with building her stable foundations for her home um, growing with family and love and things like that so she's not really too concerned about um, what this problem going on over here is um, you know because she's trying to she or he you know put the pronouns how they fit in your story but she or he is just trying to um, build uh, foundations for themselves and create um, wealth and stability and stuff like that for themselves all right so messages from the angels and guides and self-care message let's see what do we have what do we have for Aries angel message Aries angel message Aries angel message don't stop okay so I'm feeling like um, you know whoever this is or you know you guys know your situation um, don't stop whatever it is that you're doing continue to build continue to work on what you need to work on um, the angels are telling you don't stop I'm feeling like they got you you know don't switch up you may um, you know be thinking a little bit like well maybe I should you know go ahead and try to repair this right now but I'm not feeling like right now is the right time I'm feeling like um, you guys are taking time out to uh, grow on yourself and learn yourself and things like that so let's get a message from the guide thank you lead by example there you go so lead by example oh and that fell <laughs> hold on you guys let me grab that all right so <laughs> lead by example so i'm feeling like in june um well aries is a um is that a cardinal sign yeah aries is a cardinal sign so they are natural born leaders so you know that as far as work and you know the aries um major arcana is the emperor and he's a boss he's a leader so lead by example um continue to stay in your you know stay in your lane <laughs> what self-care advice do we have for aries in june so don't stop when it comes to money when it comes to love when it comes to just your general life and health um all in all I'm looking over here too because this could mean a health scare I don't want to scare anybody for a parent but this could also mean like an unhealthy home okay um, and three of cups could like with health scare you know that could mean recovery so just be looking out for that you guys make sure um, you're checking on people or you're checking on your own health you know make sure that you um, you know get a little checkup things like that you don't want to end up recovering somewhere <laughs> from something minor but hey who knows you know a lot of things are a part of life even a lot of the struggles that we go through so <laughs> what was I just saying so the self-care advice that you guys got for June is nourish your temple nourish your body I'm seeing a lot of green here so maybe some of you might be trying to go a little bit more green with your diet um, it's hard to change but you know it, it's possible you know it is possible so nourish your temple um, I'm seeing the heart right here and I'm also seeing the moon phases um, so you know continue to do moon magic uh, rituals cleanse yourself things like that and um, yeah that's it you can lead by example with that too but um, and if you have already started doing that um, cleansing your body cleansing your mind um, you know getting your life right that's what it seems like is going on for you guys in June um, don't stop the angels say don't stop all right Aries so um, there's your June horoscope 2021 if nobody's told you today I'm gonna tell you I love you peace